What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, okay, so in our last episode, we went through, well, New Bark Town, the essentials of finding out where we're from, we're in Johto, getting our very first Pokemon, getting pushed by uh, this, this little wimp of a guy that we don't even know who he is. I'm still a little angry about that, you know, I'm probably going to beat him up eventually, pretty soon here. But, the most important part, yes, we got ourselves our very first Pokemon, and that is actually Cyndaquil, which we named Cinder. So look at that, and look at the animation right there. Sprite animation. Pokemon Crystal has stepped it up right here, this is why I chose Pokemon Crystal. Plus, it, you know, it, it mixes both the storylines of the, 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 the legendary Pokemon right here. So as you can see, Cyndaquil, a fire type Pokemon, it is a male, level 5, it is mostly a special attacker, and yes, it does have a held item, it's a berry, just a berry right here, and it only has Tackle and Leer, and as you can see, its, it's stats are pretty good, very, very good, right now, uh, eventually we're gonna, you know, we're, we're gonna see where this goes right here, um, shoot, and then let's see, we got a Poke Gear from our mama, Hack. We don't really have anything, and uh, yeah. So now we have to go to Ch well beyond Cherry Grove City to actually, or Cherry Grove Town to go find out what this whole mystery thing is. And before we even leave right here, he's like, Draven, I want you to have this for your Erin. He gives us a potion, our very first potion. This is awesome. Puts it in our packet, and there are only two of us, and so we're always busy. Yeah. Okay. And there's like only five people in this town, which is pretty cool right here. And he's still there looking ever so... Uh, yeah, whatever. I hate him right now. So, few essentials that, you know, has changed in the Pokemon game, especially in Generation 2. Our bag. We don't only have one place for our, for our items now. We actually have three different... No, actually, we have four different places for our essential items, like items right here, which is potions and held items, uh, Pokeball section... And then we got key items like our bike, item finder, and all that stuff. And then right here, the TM section, which, you know, we get our TMs, we put them in there. So now, technically, we won't fill up on a lot of stuff right here. Now, another thing, too, held items for your Pokemon. Um, your starter Pokemon will always have a berry with it at the beginning. And during battle, if it's at a certain HP, like, mm, like right now, our Cyndaquil's at... 18 HP if it gets lower to like maybe six it automatically eats its berry just to uh, heal up right there now the other thing too that's been brought up in in Pokemon Crystal especially in generation 2 is the berries there are different kinds of berries that will help with the status status effects and all that kind of stuff eventually the names change uh, throughout the generations right here and as you can see we are in route 29 Cherry Grove City to New Bark Town pretty cool now as you can see on our background right here we don't have we don't have what Pokemon you can find in uh, in what route and everything because I figured that hey in Pokemon Crystal let alone Pokemon gold silver soul silver all that stuff you will find a lot of Pokemon and I definitely don't have enough time to actually you know research and then put them right here on our background so we just did a regular background I hope you like the background please don't criticize me so much about that so let's go right here. Uh, I'm talking to this guy. Pokemon hiding the grass. Who knows what they'll find or when they'll pop up. Pretty cool. Pretty pretty cool. And well, that's the first time we're gonna be battling a Pokemon right here. And first Pokemon right right now is a uh, Pidgey. Hmm. Pretty cool Pidgey. Let's go, Cinder. Let's try our new Cinder. Tackle attack. Now I did, you know, I before every single walkthrough that I make. Uh, beyond Pokemon Yellow, I always try and, uh, and make a team, you know, mock out a team to see which will actually work out in my uh, my adventures. Um, it was a tough one between between Syndical and Totodile. Totodile is my favorite starter in the second generation right here, but I've used him so much and it, from experience. Pokemon Crystal, as a kid, I was mostly a water type Pokemon trainer here because let's face it the water type Pokemon in this generation pretty awesome I think so um, it wasn't until afterwards I was like you know what hey screw it let's pick Cyndaquil I like Cyndaquil I think the only reason why I chose Totodile 2 was because of the scratch attack that it had and uh, better not get this Pokemon uh, better not waste that berry right here but it looks like I'm probably gonna be wasting that berry right now no not 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 right now but there you go. Bye-bye, Pidgey. Look at that. Just trying to gain some levels, you know. 
I'm trying to get out of the grass right here. Oh god, okay, so, let's see, let's go and talk to this guy. Talk to as many people as you can. Yo, how are your Pokemon? If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep them out of the grass! Yeah, they're ready for battle, it's just, whatever. And, well, the dreaded tree. The tree that we couldn't even get past because we don't have the cut technique. Eventually, we will get that cut technique, and, uh, let's see. I, there's no way I can get out away from the grass, but shorten it just a little right here. And there's more grass. Lots and lots of grass right here. And another Pokemon. Jesus Christ. Okay. And it's another Pidgey. Oh. Okay. Alright. Level 3. Lexi. You know what? Let's just go ahead. Um, oh, crud. Oh, 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 crud. That Pidgey's going to kick our butt. And, uh, well, look at that. It's using that berry right away. So, there's one berry wasted right there. I don't know. Cinder... Or Cyndaquil right here, not the best in defense. Not really bulky when it goes up uh, in levels, but, you know, it's a very good special attacker. That's, you know, pretty much what I need, I guess. I mean, I always start off with the Fire-type Pokemon back in Draven XC 11. And, uh, would you look at that. Level 6. Heck yes. All right. And we learned Smokescreen. Okay, all right. That's a good move, I guess. I don't know. And let's go ahead and grab this item right here. And that's another potion. Which is cool. Um, let's see. Another thing that has changed in Generation 2 is these trees right here. Uh, if you have a certain move, which is called Headbutt, you'd be able to hit them. You know, find some interesting Pokemon right there. What else is there? More Pidgeys. Should I battle it? You know what? I'm going to battle it because I got I to got, I level up. I got to get that fire attack that I've been wanting. It won't be until, like, what, level 9? Maybe level 10? That's a long time away, guys. So there we go. Another one and then another tackle. And unfortunately, we don't have a berry, so we got to heal our Pokemon right here. We don't want to, like, just lose to a random Pokemon. And would you look at that. There we go, Cinder. Many of you guys are wondering, why did I name my Cinder cool Cinder? Uh, I was playing Killer Instinct, uh, Killer Instinct while I was sick. So... That's what brought up the name right there. I could have named him Blaze, but, uh, you know, that, that that's more of a Blaziken name. You know what I mean? Not saying that I'm going to pick Blaziken in the next generation, because, remember, after Pokemon Crystal, I will be playing Pokemon Emerald. Doesn't mean that I'm going to play uh, with, uh, well, it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to choose uh, Blaziken, because I always choose him. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Very cool Pokemon. And would you look at that. Critical hit beats that Pidgey. More experience points. Now I gotta get the heck out of these the grass right here. Oh jeez, it's not making it any simple. So might as well use one of these uh, potions that I found. Okay, alrighty. Now let's get the heck out of here. All right, that was the first time for everything. And let's talk to this guy. He's like, I wanted to take a break, so I saved my my, my pro or to, 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 I saved to record my progress. Wow. Um, let's see. I will be going there a little bit later. You can find a few Pokemon here and there. You know, some necessary Pokemon for the first gym battle. And, uh, wow. Ugh. Ugh. And, uh, well. Ugh. So here we have another Pidgey. Ugh. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to battle him. I, I have to gain levels. I ha That's my thing right there. I like to be ahead of the curve right here in the whole Pokemon game. Especially for our gym battle. The very first gym battle is quite a while away. And uh, I guess this is a sign to come. I don't know. Shoot. Here we go. Another Tuckle attack. Tuckle for the win. And another... Ah, oh, close. Just level 7 right here. Okay. There's another person right there. There's a lady right there. And like I said, changes in the first or in the second generation is that you can actually find different kinds of berries. Right here, you will actually find a berry. Regular berry. Now, I'm not going to give that to Cyndaquil. I'm going to save that berry for later on. But if you ever want to go back to the tree right here, it's going to take 24 hours to actually regenerate another berry. So, I guess it's unlimited berries per day, I guess, for uh, as many times as you play. Now, talk to this guy. He's like, I'm waiting for Pokemon to appear only at night. And that is another thing about this generation. It, uh, there's day and there's night. Day and night Pokemon. Like, right now in the day, you'll find Pidgeys. But at night, you'll find Hoot Hoot. Um, some different kinds of uh, bug type Pokemon. Hell, 
You can even evolve Pokemon in the day or in the night. Different kinds of Pokemon. Just remember that, guys. And uh, I'm not going to battle any more Pokemon right here. Talk to this lady. See those ledges? It's scary to jump off of them. But you can go to New Bark Town without walking through the grass. Yeah, that is true. That is true, but... <sighs> I have to go back there anyways. And here we are, Route 29 to Cherry Grove City, New Bark Town. Okay, look at that. We are in Cherry Grove Town. Look at that. Let's see. What does it say? Cherry Grove City. City, I should say. The city of cute, fragrant flowers. Now, talk to this guy right here. He's like, oh, you're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell. That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you like, I can teach you a few things. I guess so. Uh, weird old man in the corner right here. Okay, follow me then. And he's like this. This is a Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon into in no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the Pokemart. They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon. Lots and lots of balls. Uh, and other useful items, too. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, you go right here. He's like, level or Route 30 is out of this way. Trainers will be battling there. Their prize Pokemon there. Well, I was about to say, you messed it up right here. Now, right here, he's like, this is a C, as you can see. This is a C, as you can see. Some Pokemon are found only in the water. You don't say. Look at that, there's a guy right there, just like a missing, I guess. I don't know if he can swim. He's a fisherman. You know, it's been a while since we've battled a fisherman. He's like, here! It's my house. Thanks for your uh, company. Let me give you a small gift, and we get ourselves a map card. Much needed map card. Uh, becomes more useful if uh, you add cards. Uh, I wish I wish you luck in your journey. Okay, so let's go ahead and check that map card right here. As you can see now we can actually figure out where we're at. We're in Cherry Grove Town or Cherry Grove City. Why do you, why do I keep on saying a town? And we are in Johto, by the way. Now going into Route 30, you'll be able to find a few Pokemon, including Mr. Pokemon right here, Route 31, and then the next city. Beyond this whole place is Violet City, where our first gym battle will be. So, let's um, well, let's go ahead and talk to more people right here. When your Pokemon are going anywhere is fun, I guess so. I don't know. There's really not a lot of things to do right here. He's like, Mr. Pokemon House, Mr. Pokemon's house is still further up ahead. Huh? You don't say. And well, there's not a lot of stuff that you can do right here. Not a lot of items. The more important item that you got, well, you're gonna get is that Pokemon uh, map card. Now I'm gonna go right here, and uh, well, since we start off at three thousand bucks, <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna buy myself three potions, um, two, an three antidotes because we will be facing some bug type Pokemon later on, and. I don't think we're going to get paralyzed anytime soon, so we're just going to hold off on anything else right here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. No, we're going to have to go to the Pokemon Center. we got to heal up our Pokemon. We use Tackle way too much. Just a little much. I don't know. So you're just like, good morning, welcome to the Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon to perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? Heck yes. Okay, let me see your Pokemon. So as you can see, thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Okay, alrighty, okay, alright. So, let's see, it's great. I can store any number of Pokemon, and it's all for free. Well, we already know that. The communication center upstairs was just built, but they're still finishing it up. Yeah, we won't be trading any kind of Pokemon for a while right here, because, uh, I guess, you know, new generations and all, and all that stuff, I guess. I don't know. Pokemon. Pokemon Generations, I don't know, it's weird. Okay, so let's go up to Route 30 right here. And uh, we're going to be finding some new Pokemon. Maybe it's more of the same right here. That's why I'm walking in this grass right here. It's like Route 30. Violet City to Cherry Grove City. Huh. And here's another tree. I should get that berry. So that's two berries right there. Now, keep in mind, berries are good to actually heal up your Pokemon at a very low level. But in this case right here... It would be good to store at least seven regular berries for later on because there's something later on that you know we'll be needing about seven berries right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's like, You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon get, got healthier by eating a berry. Here, I'll share one with you. We got ourselves our third berry. You see, we're halfway there. 
Someone halfway there. Check for trees. Or check trees for berries. They just drop right off. And like I said, it takes 24 hours to actually get the berries to come back. So, yeah, relax, guys. Now, see, I'm going up here. And uh, I don't know if there's any Pokemon right here that I would want. Oh, would you look at that? It's a Ladybug. It's the first for everything. A Ladybug. That's right. Let's go ahead. Let's beat this Ladybug. What is this Ladybug going to do to us? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So there we go. Tackle attack. Oh, come on. You should have just beat him right there. <sighs> God. You know, I think very, very highly of my Pokemon. A lot. So I think that, you know, they should just beat him one hit. One hit KO and all that. But they don't. And there we go. Another tackle. Another win. And would you look at that. Cinder wins. Level 7. That's awesome. That's great. Okay, so moving on forward right here. Ooh, a Pokeball. Cool. And we found ourselves an antidote. Okay, alright. So, you know, we're stocking up on some cool items right here. Talk to this guy. He's like, Mr. Pokemon's house? It's a bit farther ahead. Ah, oh, jeez. Now, there are two different kinds of uh, areas that you can go to. This area right here leads you all the way to Route 31, but unfortunately you can't do anything right now because there's a Pokemon battle going on. Go Radita! Tackle! What? This is a big, big battle! Leave me alone! Hmm. Okay, so this is the first time we're looking outside. We're from the outside in, I guess. Look at that, they're battling. Wow. It's pretty awesome. Very cool. Okay, moving on forward right here. We still have to go find Mr. Pokemon. Now... Oh, God. You know, where, wherever you go, you're just going to hit a big pile of grass right here. It really doesn't matter. Now, you're going to, right here, you're going to be battling a lot of Pokemon. So, it really doesn't matter. And, ooh, look at that, a tree. Look at that. It's a fruit bearing tree, and we found ourselves a poison cure berry. Eventually, in like Generation 3 and beyond, they renamed these berries. And, is this it? Oh, yes, it's Mr. Pokemon's house. Let's go ahead and uh, look at that. Hello, hello, you must be Draven. Pokemon or Professor Elm said that you would be uh, you would come to visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. We find ourselves a mystery egg. Huh? Would you look at that? I'm going to the key pocket. I know a couple who runs a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm for Pokemon evolution. Professor Elm is the authority on that, I guess. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it, I guess, and whoa! Ah, ha! Huh. So you're Draven! Professor, you know me from the last... You, you know me, whatever, you, you, you know me, you choose to forget, you a-hole. Um, I'm Oak, a, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Professor, or Mr. Pokemon. I heard that you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Hmm. Again, you've known me since the yellow version. WTF, Professor Oak? What the heck? Oh, that... What's this? A rare Pokemon. Let's see. Hmm, I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you this Pokemon for the for this rare, for this Aaron. Mm-hmm. To researchers, Professor Elm and uh, I, Pokemon, are, fr are friends. We... I can't even read this one. What? He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out here? I guess so. I have no choice in the matter, I guess. See, this is the latest version of the Pokédex. It's, uh, it automatically records data on Pokemon that you've uh, seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Well, as you can see, we got ourselves our Pokédex. So go me! Go meet many po kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too here, here too long. I have to go to Golden Rod for my ra my usual radio station or show, I guess. Draven, I'm counting on you. Yeah, you've counted on me since I was a champ right here, man. You're talking to the Tanto champ. Completely forgot who I was. Okay, so you returning prof uh, to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Well, we're gonna get some rest. Look at that. We got some rest. I'm depending on you. Well, everybody's depending on me lately, I guess. I don't know. Let's check that Pokedex out. So, as you can see, we've only seen three different kinds of Pokemon. And we've only... Well, we only have one Pokemon at the moment. Can't really capture any kind of Pokemon right now. 
but this version of the the, the, the high-tech encyclopedia called the Pokédex, you can do a lot of cool things right here. Like uh, if you press select, you can go to new Pokédex mode, which would be num which would uh, actually uh, number all the Pokémon in a new way. If you go to the old Pokédex mode. It goes from number one to 251 Pokemon, and as you can see, we've only seen three Pokemon out of the 251 Pokemon. Now, if you press start right here, you can actually go ahead and look for a different kind, like different kinds of Pokemon, like a fire or normal Pokemon, water type Pokemon, um, especially their second type. And then right there, you know, you'll actually, you know, actually get to uh, get to find them. So let's begin the search with the fire type Pokemon. And as you can see, we only have one fire type Pokemon right now, and that is Cyndaquil. And uh, well, I guess that's pretty much it for that Pokedex. Now let's get the heck out of here. Now before you go anywhere, you get paused right there, and then and Professor Elm is like, Draven, it's a disaster. Um, um, just terrible. What should I do? Oh uh, no! Please get back here now. Click. Something just went wrong. Like something happened. I don't know. I can only assume that something bad has happened. I don't know. Alright, let's move on. Um, we already went there. We already battled Pokemon. Right no, we didn't battle a Pokemon. We have to battle a Pokemon. We just have to. It's a must. -a. As you can see, there's a Pidgey right there. Level 4. Pretty cool Pokemon. And uh, let's go ahead and tackle this Pokemon right here. Let's make him bleed. And that tackle attack does not really work on us. Or it's not really going to work on us. We're 3 levels ahead. Again, I still have my Pokemon the highest steam right here. And uh, that tackle attack. It's a battle of the tackle attacks right here. Come on. Come on, Cinder. Let's win this. Do it for my Kanto Pokemon. Do it for your bitches. If you have any. And would you look at that. Heck yes. Lots of experience points. You gotta love that. Oh, God. You gotta... Oh, God. More grass. More freaking grass and yeah more Pidgeys gotta love more Pidgeys right okay so tackle attack again I guess I don't know maybe I I, I, I should think so and uh, yeah battle of the tackle attacks this is probably what the, the episodes named battle of the tackle attacks starting cinder as in the cyndaquil and uh, uh oh this looks bad this looks very very bad don't beat me with a critical hit. If you do, I, oh god, that is bad. That is bad. Okay, luckily we do have a lot of potions right here. Look at that, just, just like new. And that Pidgey thought that it was gonna beat us. It's a pretty good, pretty strong Pidgey right there. So here we go, tackle attack again. Man, I wish we had another move, like you know, Ember, Flame Wheel, you know, Flame Thrower, that kind of stuff. And. uh boom level eight okay that was worth it and yet we still don't know any new moves okay so moving on moving on you know what? we're not battling any of those pokemon right there um we're gonna jump off a ledge why not let's jump off a ledge right here and uh jump off this ledge right here and here we are in cherry grove city not town cherry grove city and let's go ahead and heal my pokemon i gotta heal these pokemon and yes, you can heal my Pokemon. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, let me see your Pokemon. That is one. Booyah. Alrighty. Okay. Enough of that. Alright, let's go straight to New Bark Town. And before we do anything, would you look at him? You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A whip like you? Don't you, or don't. Don't you get what I'm saying? No, I don't. Well, I do have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Dude, what is your problem? Seriously, what is your freaking problem? Your hair, that is your problem right there. So here we have, question mark, question mark, question mark. Wants a fight, or wants a battle. So he goes, he sends out his total dial, which is kind of like, kind of messed up right there. So this is your rival right here. You get to name him later on, but yes, he will choose a Pokemon whose element is stronger than yours, or who, uh, well, whose element has a, an advantage towards yours. So, what we're going to do right here is just tackle the crap out of this, this Totodile right here. That's right. Lots of points right there. But, look at that. Totodile does have that scratch attack. It's a very physical Pokemon. Gotta be careful. 
I do like Totodile a lot. I really do. And uh, there's that scratch deck again. Go ahead with the tackle. I really do hate tackling people. I used to do that when I played football. Come on, Cinder. Do it for your Cinderquill bitches. Oh, jeez. Come on. We're almost there. We gotta finish this guy off. You know, if we would have missed, that would have been messed up right there. And look at that, 70 experience points. How do you like me now, question mark, question mark, question mark? Hmm. Are you happy you won? Well, yeah. You know, I still gotta beat the you-know-what out of you. My name is, question mark, question mark, question mark. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. I thought he was gonna say world's greatest Pokemon, only that. Wow. And he pushes me out of the way. Seriously? Seriously, Nintendo, you couldn't just let us swing at him one time. Just one time. <sighs> Flipping you off, bro. Flipping you off. All right, let's go. Let's go. So here we are back in Route 29. We got to get to New Bark Town because that guy is causing a lot of problems. And yes, let's use the ledges right here. We got to use the ledges. He has to. And uh, yeah, I guess he was right. We will not be going into no grass right here. Yeah, that's right. Pokemon is a little bit weak. And here we are, New Bark Town. Hello, hello, home, sweet home. And here we are going up. And there's the police officer. And he's like, I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young male with long red hair. What? You battled a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Yep. <sighs> Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> that would be kind of messed up if I actually named him that. But I'm actually going to give him his uh, his actual name, I guess. I guess his real name is Silver. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, his name is Silver. And, unfortunately, in Generation 2, there's not a lot of things that you could say about him. There's not even a backstory to him. Eventually, it comes to light in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver what he's all about and why he's so PO'd about, you know, Team Rocket. But, you know, we'll get there when we get there. So, yes, his name is Silver. Okay, so Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. I guess so. I don't know. Okay, so enough about that. Talk to this guy, and he's like, um, Draven, this is terrible. Oh, yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? And then, yeah, handing on the mystery egg, and he's like, to Professor Elm, and, ooh, this! But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Draven, is that true? Th that's incredible. He is superb, he is superb in, at seeing the potential of a Pokemon, or, uh, at, of people as trainers. Well, duh, I mean... Came from Kanto, bro. Came from Kanto. Wow, Draven. You may have got what it takes to become the champion. I am the champ. You seem to be getting great on, uh... Getting, getting on great with Pokemon, too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Draven, the road to the Pokemon Championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mama. Uh, whatever you say. I mean, mom does know best, I guess. In the next episode, I will be talking to my mama, and we will be continuing our adventure right here. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a little bit for another episode. <laughs>